Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. And tonight we have a special guest. Hey, it's Jeff Morrison, and today we'll be doing Yuna's first manifest weapon using my slash team since it is my most powerful zone team. Alright, so if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Also, I do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. As many of you know, I don't have Yuna in any form, and of course, my oldest son, he has Yuna in both forms. And so, we're going to demonstrate uh, how this first battle is going to go. I will say, if this first battle is any indication, it's not going to be an easy battle for the second round, and you'll see why. So, we're going to go with an all slash team like he said, and we're going to go with a two turn AF and see how that lands us. You can see we start off with fighting two Yunas, and since they're both uh, going to be doing similar moves, it's going to be quite the pain, especially since, don't forget, for those who have OG Yuna, she has that Mega Poison attack, and she has all her uh, abilities to uh, debuff, and remember, it's Int and Magic Resistance down, or Physical uh, and Power down. So it can be quite lethal if you have um, no mitigation or ability to remove those debuffs or additional uh, shielding or int down against Yuna. Most of her damage is going to be based on int obviously since she's a magic user. Also note, 2 turn AFs is not going to end the battle. Um, right away, 50% each piece stopper. And you can get rid of one, and guess what, two more come back in her place. Now note that um, all her moves of course with all manifest battles are going to be um, the same moves as what she has access to, except they're going to just be obviously enhanced, especially since uh, the second battle is going to be way more t tough. So we VC'd in Yuna, um, obviously uh, to help protect ourselves. You can see that e even the single physical attack, there's a non-elemental AoE there. Don't forget also, by ha us having Slash Zone up, it mitigates magic attacks damage by 50%, almost like a Aurora Force that's in play forever. And I know that OG Yuna cannot remove zones, so that will help if you do use zones of any form. And just like most battles where you're fighting manifest weapons, if you take down the main one, the other, um, I guess, minions will fall along with her. So I know we didn't see all of uh, OG Yuna's manifest uh, moves, but I'm sure when we get to the uh, second battle, we'll see a lot more uh, lethal ones. Imagine this being multi-thousands, non-elemental uh, damage every round. Alright, so we finally get the Grand Purity Staff. Nice. Okay, so I know that Jeff Morrison is busy grinding this XP as we speak, right Jeff? Yes, I am. So he says he's going to get all the uh, XP done within a, hopefully a day or so. Uh, for myself, being that I'm a working dad and not just a gamer dad, I will have to uh, delay my Dewey for a little bit longer. Okay, so battle is over. One gold badge down, 50 additional stones, and all that's left in this video is to show the loadout for his team. So you can see that he does have overlap of some characters, and he's also followed some of my Grasta choices, 20, 20, 30 elemental damage on AS Renry. He also has a, a, a AS Elga there with the single. Of course, Manifested Deidre with the uh, Minglins special Grasta. Our beloved 5-star Bria with the Stand Your Hold Ground, I guess, or Stand Your Ground. Radius, no Grasta there as well as OG Yuna. And if you're wondering why it's all water, it's because it's for AS Yuna. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.